Well, Star Wars fans, strap in for a long ride because I don't think we're going to be getting any Star Wars news or updates on upcoming games like the open world Star Wars games and EA Play. Let's dive right into it, guys. So pretty much, if you guys haven't already heard, uh, Ubisoft is working with Disney and EA uh, and Lucasfilm Games to create, you know, an open world Star Wars game. And I, I believe, you know, myself and other Star Wars fans, we were freaking out. You know, EA, uh, EA finally not being the only company to be working on Star Wars games, you know. They let Ubisoft take a crack at it. And I'm, I'm still a little iffy about uh, Ubisoft. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. Ubisoft has done some pretty good, you know, open world games with, you know, Assassin's Creed. You know, Watch Dogs had a pretty decent open world game. You know, Division was all right as well. Uh, and so, you know, they have, they have a good track record. So I, I feel like they can do a good job. Uh, and so with that being said, though, uh, Ubisoft announced, you know, the Avatar uh, game that they released in E3. And uh, reports do say, as we can see here, is it pretty much Ubisoft confirmed that they're in the early stages of development of the game. But also mentioned the Massive Entertainment's ongoing work on the Avatar project, the game adaptation, you know, to the Avatar uh, which would be arriving before the new Star Wars game. You know, with that being said, um, <clears throat> you know, with we already got, you know, Avatar announced already during E3, I believe that, you know, we're not really going to get any real update on uh, the open world Star Wars games until the Avatar game's full release. You know, they just dropped the trailer, and it's said to drop 2022. Uh, so I believe that, you know, they're not going to be really working on the new Avatar game until that game is fully released. And we might not be getting it, you know, until maybe 2024, 2025, my latest, you know, that I, I think is when we might be getting any open world Star Wars game from Ubisoft and EA. Um, so it's just like, oh, my God, like. Uh, how <laughs> 2025 like just looking at how game you know everything is being done like damn so i want to really get your high uh hopes up too much guys uh in e3 uh we might get some uh decent star wars uh updates you know star wars uh uh that star wars game on switch uh you know we might get some stuff but i don't think we're gonna get too much regarding star wars in ea this year and one thing i kind of do want to look into with you guys real quick is you know, one thing that I do think we might get in E3, which I'm actually pretty excited about, um, and this could just be, you know, me overthinking or just me thinking, you know, a little bit more than what it is. And I feel like a lot of people have been thinking the same thing. If we look here, EA Star Wars retweeted, you know, Game, Informer, Game Informer's tweet saying that next month, you know, with EA Play next month, it's a good time to get back into Jedi Fallen Order. Well, I mean, Jedi Fallen Order is getting a really, you know, the next-gen update, you know, it's getting cleaned up. It looks crisp. I recommend it. If you guys have not played Star Wars Jedi uh, Fallen Order, like, you need to play that. That is by far one of my favorite Star Wars games to this day. It is beautiful, amazing. I love it. I uh, can't wait to update mine so I can play, uh, replay it in, you know, next-gen on my Series S. But, I mean, I, again, I don't know. You, you guys tell me. I don't know if I'm reading into this a little bit too much. But with, you know, EA Play coming up and EA Star Wars saying now it's a great time to get back into Jedi Fallen Order. Are they pretty much hinting, hey, jump back into Jedi Fallen Order, play it, because we're about to announce Jedi Fallen Order 2. Does this mean we're going to get Jedi Fallen Order 2? I don't know. I mean, I could be just overthinking and, you know, whatever, but... I'm actually pretty excited to see what we might get with Jedi Fallen Order 2. I love the first one, and I would love to see a sequel. And lastly, I think that one thing that I'm hoping that we get to see as well is going to be that Star Wars game that's coming to the Switch, which is Star Wars Hunters. You know, if you guys didn't know, Star Wars Hunters is set after the fall of the Galactic Empire. Star Wars Hunters will bring players together in a thrilling team-based multiplayer battles Select from a diverse cast of new characters, including daring bounty hunters, heroes of the rebellion, imperial stormtroopers. Uh, Star Wars Hunters will be free to download for the Nintendo Switch and on the App Store and on Google Play in 2021. We did know that EA did purchase uh, or did buy a lot of you know mobile uh, game companies lately as well. 
So I'm very excited to see what Star Wars Hunters is going to be about. I'm hoping we get a bigger update on it. I'm hoping we get a little bit more information on Star Wars Hunters. Because I'm actually excited to see what they're going to do for it on the Switch. Um, if you guys haven't seen the trailer, uh, or I did a video. We did a video breakdown on it as well if you guys want to check it out. But Star Wars Hunters is another one that I'm actually looking forward to. And so guys, this is going to be the official schedule for EA play live on july 22nd around 10 a.m pt guys so we're starting off with the feature of fps and that's pretty much going to be with respawn and ea dice uh so pretty much i'm, I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of the, you know the first person shooter stuff um you know uh, uh, apex and all that stuff and then uh so that's july 8th and starting july 8th then july 13th uh, EA Original Independent Studios. I think this is where we might get some possibly Star Wars information. That's what I'm hoping for. And then, you know, we get the Madden NFL 22 All Access Scouting. So this is going to be pretty much the schedule. Uh, it's on their official Twitter page. You guys want to check it out and see if it's true. But this is what we got. This is what we got going on for EA Play, guys. Uh, July 8th. They're going to start dropping some live streams, and then July 22nd is their main show. Uh, so, very excited to see what's going on. I mean, like I said, they could potentially drop some stuff. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to tell, but, you know, all we got to do is just, you know, fingers crossed and pray, and hopefully we get something good. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy this for more Star Wars content, for more of the Mando Bros coming at you guys, uh, and we will see you guys in the, like, in the next video. Uh, don't forget, guys. Uh, may the force be with you, because this is the way. Thank you.